What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and Amazon simply cannot live with their failure. Make no mistake about it. As I am recording this video, as you are watching this video, Amazon is coping with the fact that they have the biggest cinematic failure of all time on their hands. The most expensive television show ever created in the history of human life belongs to Amazon, and it is entitled The Rings of Power. Now, how is Amazon dealing with this? Well, for one, they're trying to bluff. They went ahead and fast-tracked season two to put out a false sense of optimism when we all know the truth. We've all seen the numbers, we've seen the reviews, we have seen the ratios time and time again. They can no longer hide this, but they're trying to. And what do they do in this moment of failure? Instead of trying to make things up to the fans, instead of promising fans, you know what? We got some things wrong, but we're going to try to do better. No, they double down on their original promotional tactics. If you all have been paying attention, then you know that they promoted this show not by saying it would be good, not by showing us awesome footage of Middle Earth. No, they promoted this show by crapping on all of the Tolkien Lord of the Rings fans while promoting this talk of diversity and inclusion. Now, I want to be clear here. Diversity and inclusion isn't always a bad thing. If you're making your own product, if you're making your own you know, movie or you're telling your own story and you want it to be as inclusive and diverse as possible, more power to you. And if it looks good, I'll show up to watch it or read it or whatever. But when it comes to telling a story that was already told, a story that was created by someone else, it's always best to stick as close to the source material as possible. I mean, it's only respectful. And what you don't do, what you damn sure don't do, is just crap all over the source material while attacking the fans who are trying to defend it. But that is what Amazon did. And that is what all of these big movie studios are doing these days. But now, the Rings of Power showrunners have resorted to literally calling token fans evil. Let's go ahead and hop right into this quote. The spirit of Tolkien is about disparate peoples who don't trust one another and look different from one another, finding common ground in friendship and accomplishing big things. That's the spirit we've tried to encapsulate into every single comma and period in the show, that this aspiration would be offensive to people and enrage them, it's very hard for us to understand. What are they protecting? I don't see how people who are saying these things think that they're fighting for good. There's a line in episode seven where Galadriel says every war is fought from without and within. Even if you're fighting for something you think is good, if you do something worse in that fight, then you become evil. I don't see how people who are saying these things think that they're fighting for good. It's patently evil. So you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, or chances are you probably already saw this on some other channel. But regardless, they think we're evil. They literally ask us, what are we protecting? What are you guys protecting? I thought it was obvious that we are protecting Tolkien's legacy. But not just that, we are protecting each other. In these moments within pop culture, us fans, fanboys, fangirls, nerds, whatever you want to call people, we've realized that we have to stick together. You know, Lord of the Rings isn't a... And, and Tolkien, it, it was always something that I enjoyed, but it wasn't my main thing. But the reason I am so passionate about this is because I've seen my main thing destroyed. And I'll talk about it a thousand times. But in these moments, when you're asking what are we looking to protect, 
We're looking to protect the source material, the stuff that we grew up reading and watching and sharing with our loved ones that has been totally destroyed over the past few years throughout this culture war. And speaking of culture war, there's all this talk about culture wars, right? And I think we can all agree that the culture war has been raging for a while now, especially in pop culture. But now we are seeing something different. What we're seeing is these movie companies, instead of ignoring stuff and just doing what they do, they are now marketing their show based on the hate they receive online. They are purposely looking for hate views, hate clicks. And at the same time, they're basically weaponizing the portion of the fan base that will just eat up anything and using them as cannon, cannon fodder to throw at all of us who can actually criticize and critique a television show. I can't even count how many people <laughs> throughout a, my day on social media come at me mad about my opinions on Marvel or Disney or Star Wars or the Rings of Power. And they're just cannon fodder. They're nobodies. They're being used by these work, woke corporations basically to battle us, the real fans. So what they're doing is they know what... It, it, it's, it's gotten to the point where it's been too repetitive. And, you know, this was something that Disney was doing a lot with Star Wars and Marvel. But when I saw Amazon start doing the same thing, like I always felt like it was a coordinated attack and this was planned and, you know, the attacking the fans was really part of their marketing strategy. strategy. But now that I saw Amazon double down on this, you know, with the Rings of Power, now I know that this isn't a Disney thing. This is just a, a, all studios in Hollywood. This is their next marketing maneuver. Throughout the next couple of years, maybe it'll be a couple of months, who knows how long this thing will rage on. We will become public enemy number one. And if you think that's a joke, if you think that's me um, over-exaggerating, then watch the latest episode of She-Hulk. In, in the latest episode of She-Hulk, the villain of the show is 100% based on a YouTuber that you've probably seen right here on YouTube. So that just goes to show how seriously they're taking this. They are directly coming at us now. No longer are they, you know, basically just attacking our characters and ruining our characters. Now they're going to ruin your character and market their show based off of your anger and your hate of them destroying the characters that you love. These people are heartless. They are evil. If you think the culture war was raging on for the last couple of years, then you ain't seen nothing yet because it has really started now. It has really started now with the Rings of Power and that latest episode of She-Hulk. I, I mean, I'm telling you all, you got to start connecting the dots here. I know I might sound like a conspiracy theorist, but this is how they are marketing their shows and movies now. And we're going to start seeing a coordinated effort from all of these movie companies working together to market their shows off the backs of our hatred and anger, while simultaneously basically making some of the villains in the shows and stuff, they're nodding towards YouTubers in these shows. I could go all day about this, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Maybe I'll talk about this a little bit more in a future video. But while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.